Hello everybody, happy Wednesday. Okay, so we are going to play. Um, I've gotta be honest, I have not been getting a lot of play time lately in terms of creating because my to-do list has been 9,700 miles long. I'm not joking you, I feel like that's how long it is. And I just laugh, because you kinda of gotta like, hmm. What always ends up getting cut out is my creating time, which is my fun time. Anyway, so we are starting off with a Whisper White card base. Now I'm going the way, I have a bunch of customers who hate cards folded this way, but I am going this way and you'll understand why. So I am four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half, okay? Hello, peeps. It is so good to see you. Okay, so this is down. Now we are playing, you may have seen it already on my blog. I did share it. So this is the Picture Perfect Birthday Stamp Set. Um, love this one, it is retiring, which makes me wanna cry because I've had so much fun with it. But we're gonna play with it a little bit today and I'm gonna make you love it too, if you don't already, which I'm sure you do. Okay, now I found this one you're waiting, you're so sweet. So this one was kind of fun because it was a color challenge that I was participating in and the color combination that they gave us was, and this is what I do when I get given a color challenge. I was like, okay, gorgeous gray. We got Coastal Cabana and we also were given Melon Mambo. Just a second, I'm gonna pull it out. Okay, so here you go. So you can see I've got the three colors here. I know you haven't seen me in forever. It's been a week. It was seriously, it was last Wednesday. Don't even, it makes me wanna cry. Um, now, this time, what we're gonna, oh, I have one more piece of paper that I was missing. Shoot! Nobody yelled. Okay, oh, well, don't, you don't yell because I was the one who yelled. Look at, this is all that is left, check this, of my, um, how sweet it is DSP. Like, I have next to nothing left. Well, I guess that's good timing because it's almost retired, but I kind of love this one. So, I do need one piece of paper. Is that the right width? Yeah, that'll work. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to throw that up there. So when I came across, this was the grouping of colors that I was given for this challenge. I was like, wait a minute. I know that that DSP has many of those colors in it. So I went in and grabbed and I got, uh, this is one of the pieces I chose. Now on my original card, I actually had the stripes going the other way, but I didn't have a piece big enough left. So we're going with this one cut this way. Um, and so it's got the Coastal Cabana and it's got the Melon Mambo and then it's got like faded out shades of it. Hello from Northern Alberta. Hello from Edmonton. Yes, love it. Chop it, girl. I am that person. I don't hang on to anything. I do not get attached to paper. I will admit it. Okay, so I did pre-die cut. Uh, this is the second largest stitched shape circle. Do you like the emphasis with which I say that? Because if I don't, stitched shape circle comes out sounding a little bit wonky and we're not gonna go there. Okay, yes. We're gonna go with gorgeous grape. Hi, Sue. You ready? Open it. Close it. Hello from Memphis, Tennessee. I hope you're safe. I feel like there's storms everywhere in the States. Every time I look right now, it's terrifying. Now this stamp has seen much love. I'm actually kind of excited to get the new Stampin' Up um, little scrub pad to clean these guys up because I have a few that I'm like, whoa, Ant, what'd you do? Hello, Sandy from Winnipeg. Hello from Ontario, Janice. And so I'm just gonna stamp my little happiest of birthdays to you. And I did that one in Gorgeous Grape, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna do Oh, you would crack up because this was my weekend to-do list. It was like, at this time, do this. At this time, do this. But we're using my scrap paper here because I don't have my weight grid paper out right now. Um, so we've done with that step. So I'm going to move him off to the side before I make a mess. But I'm not done with my uh, gorgeous grape. So I've got these two here. So one is the actual bow. And then one's kind of like little accents. You had wicked storms. See, the storms are scaring me. I'm like, oh, it rained in Vancouver. Surprise! It's not a surprise. It's kind of what it does here all the time. Um, now, I have a whisper white paper. There it goes. Okay, now I need my scrap paper because I am gonna stamp off. So this is what I'm gonna do for this. I'm going to ink this guy up in gorgeous grape. Yes. You found me 71 degrees right now at 8 p.m. Ooh, it's warm. And we're gonna stamp that on here. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna stamp it again. Because I want that faded off look for my bow. Now, the next one we have, apparently I got this one quite wet, it has got the little accents that are gonna go in between. Now this one I do stamp full force, yes? And when I say full force, now I have to spin this because I've got, it's like a little bit of a puzzle. You kind of have to match up the pieces. Now I'm gonna pull it back towards me. So you might, you might lose it from your own view, but I need it close enough to me that I can get my head over top and stamp it. Look at that, hee <laughs> hee, how cute is that? Do you see it? Look at that bow. Okay, clean it because we need a multiple sets of these. Okay, so the next one color we're going to do, we're gonna close up our gorgeous grape. We do not need it. 
And we are going to move over to Coastal Cabana. I was so happy when this one came back. I love this one. We're going to do that same technique again, you guys. So we are going to ink it up. Yes. And I'm going to stamp it off. Then I'm going to stamp it on here. And I don't know why I'm talking with a British accent. Okay. Just like that. Now we're going to ink it up full force again. Okay. Pull it back towards me so I can see what's happening. Turn it so I can line it up. Do do. Okay. Again, child is playing. What's it called? Stupid game. Fortnite, the one with the imaginary doll clothes? Yes. Um, there we go. Okay, stamp that one. I have warned him to keep it quiet. Thank you for sharing, Valerie. That's really sweet of you. Okay, next thing. We're going Melon Mambo, peeps. You ready? So again, we're going to use that exact same technique that we used last time where we ink it up and we're going to stamp it off and then we're going to move on. Okay, so here we go. We're going to ink up. Do do. Hello from Alaska, Nancy. Oh, stamp it off. I almost stamped it full strength. Stamp it on here. Ta da. Okay, now we're going to go to this guy. We're going to go full strength on this guy. Yes. Ink him. Hello, Kia Porter. Okay, just a second. I'm coming down here. Boop, boop. I can't see you guys. So remember when I say hi to you, someone panicked one day. Cause she, she, okay, this was kind of funny. It was actually someone who I know quite well, and she had not watched a Facebook Live before. Hang on. Ha ha, did it. Woo! Hi, April. I'm super proud of myself. Can you tell when I stamp things perfectly when I'm live? Because it stresses me out. Okay, now I can put this one away. I feel like I still need one of them. Yes, I do. I need my Coastal Cabana. Krista wants to know which stamp set you're using. Okay, Krista. Ta-da. Picture perfect birthday girl. Thank you, Beth. Okay, so this one, again, this one is retiring, but I do love this one. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that card base and I'm going to give it a little bit of love. Not a ton, just a, ton, a little bit. And I'm just going Coastal Cabana with the um, sprinkles. Anyone else feel like I need to be icing a cupcake at this point? Put a couple more down here and then I'm going to peek some out the other side. Now I didn't do this on my other card, but I was like, oh, I should have done that. You know, do you have those moments? I wish I, I would have, could have, should have. I didn't. We go. Okay, sorry, I was telling you a story. Yes, so girlfriend is at home and she's in the bathroom, yes, you know, taking a mom moment because that seems to be the only time you get to be alone. And she's got her face, her phone, and she's like, oh, I'm gonna see that she's live, I'm gonna watch it. And I was like, hello, so and so, I'm not gonna say her name because I don't wanna embarrass her. Anyway, she freaked because she thought I could see her. And I was like, dude, I cannot see you on the toilet. It was pretty funny. So she did panic and she did get off immediately. You actually have that stamp. Valerie, go get your stamp out. We're gonna use it. Okay, now we're gonna sneak down in here. Now this is just a piece of um, same DS piece, okay? So exactly from that same set. It is five and a quarter inches wide. I believe it was two and three quarters. Sorry, it's five and a quarter this way. What is it? Yeah, it's two and three quarters this way, okay? So that helps you out a little bit. Okay, next thing we are going to do is we are looking all over. I have oh that's where that purple I had purple ink all over everything and I couldn't figure out why and it's because I obviously dropped a bag in my ink pad and there okay now I didn't show you what I just punched why because I was using a retired punch shh I'll show you it's my two and a half whoa you can see me see scary ah there I am ah um sorry it's a two and a half inch circle punch um, two and a half inch retired. I don't ever get rid of my retired circles. I just find them convenient and lovely. So I hang on to those. Now I do, I did just realize that we do need, okay. You guys look at the stamp set, admire it. Tell it how pretty it is. We need right now the one layer above that for, I want a circle, um, that this one's going to mat on. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I do this. What I would do normally is I will take this and do Dude, dude, we're gonna stick this one onto here. And I just wanted a peekaboo. I needed a peekaboo of Coastal Cabana. Oh, Sue, that's for our team page. Remember the draw? I said on it that I would draw it the week of May 17th. So give me a week from May 17th. I will get it done. It's on my to-do list for tonight. Uh, whether I get it done tonight, that's a different story. Okay, so we have got this. I have got a piece of, I would accept the set isn't even in the camera. Oh, oh no, what did I do? Well, I have to show you the set for you to look at it. There you go, love. Thank you, Catherine. I have cut this guy out, and you can see it's with the stitched shape rectangles. Yes. And then I've given it a coordinating mat in gorgeous grape. Here we go. It's one of Boop. Boop. I'm going to stick that one on here. 
Oh, that was a really bad cut job. It's a good thing that we're not done because I'm going to go over and fix it. Oh, it's not that bad. Huh. Okay. Go like that. Okay. So we've got that one all cut. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to steal this. You're going to look at the stamp set because I need to cut a circle. And I don't want to bring my big shot over because I'm super lazy. So this is how I would do this is I take my shape over usually and I'll go drop it into, this is the one I want. Okay. Because I want that kind of a little bit different size ring. So I'm on the big shot. You can't see me. Nor do you care to, because all I'm doing is cranking a circle. I'm coming. Look at the pretty page. There we go. We're good. Okay, so this one we're going to stick onto here. Are you ready to watch me fussy cut? It's super. Who is in charge of that cut, child? I know, seriously, eh, Laura? Like, who are these people? Oh, yeah, it's me. Hmm. Big surprise there. Okay, it's just that. I'm going to stick him down. Oh, that was super not even. Oh, well. We'll try it again. Shh. So this is what happens when you, you know, my eyes are over 40, decide to play tricks on me. There we go. Okay, so we've got that one ready. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I have a favorite punch, yes? Um, and I've used my favorite punch not for punching what it's supposed to punch. I use it for flagging my banner ends, yes? This is embarrassing. So there's my tailored, whatever, tailored tag, tailored label, whatever he was called. Um, but yes, this is what I use it for. I flag things with it because it makes me happy because it's not quite as deep as the triple banner punch. You don't get quite the angled cut. Ta -ta! Look at that. Love it. Now this part, you're going to kind of laugh at because this is embarrassing because no one's going to see this. So I just hack it off because it's going to get hidden behind a card anyway. And then I can save those bits and use them later. Save your bits, peeps. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab the Whisper White cardstock that we did that dancing. Do we all have a favorite punch? Bonjour, Marika. Okay, so you ready? We're going to fussy cut. You're going to see how not fussy I am with my fussy cutting. I actually don't, you know what? I feel like you guys have taught me not to mind fussy cutting because you're always like, oh, it's relaxing to watch you. Hey, if it works, don't knock it. You got it, girl. Okay, so as I say when I'm fussy cutting, what I tend to do is I don't actually move my scissors a ton. So are you watching my scissors and where they're pointing? Um, I keep the paper tight in the base of my scissors and it's actually my paper. I just stabbed myself. That was awesome. Let's not bleed all over the card. Um, and I turn my paper. Ah, hello from Montreal, Carolyn. I would love to go to Montreal. That's somewhere I would love to visit. Except I'm sure I would butcher my French. And then people would laugh at me. And, you know, it would just be one of those moments. My fussy cutting is terrible. You know, Sue, I'm not going to lie. I think it takes a ton of practice. And I think it takes not trying to actually cut the things out. It's so much easier when you leave yourself a nice white border around things rather than trying to cut them on exact edges. Megan would like me to come and do her fussy cutting. Hey, Megan, I am a major fussy. I can sit during a staff meeting. I know, so bad. Um, but I have to keep busy with my hands or else if I'm not busy with my hands, somehow my mouth gets busy. Yes, exactly. And so I find if I have something to do then I am far more on task. So I will sit and fussy cut things. Or, oh, there's my child, super loud, just like his mother. Boop, got it, okay? So we've got one. Are you all sending your fussy cutting this way? <sighs> okay, you can send your fussy cutting, but if you send your fussy cutting, will you please send it with chocolate? When I try to speak French, they tell me, please speak English. They're like, hey dude, you're butchering it. Hello, Sandy. I have to wear stronger glasses to fussy cut. Okay, but you know what? I gotta tell you this, and you're gonna laugh, Catherine. And, and I swear to God, it was like, I turned 40, and then all of a sudden I needed to hold things further from my face to see them, yes? And so I actually find that cutting for a Facebook Live is pretty easy because I it's far enough away from me because I have to hold it out for you that it's not near my face. And I'm like, I can see this, we're good. We were teasing my husband because he got his glasses finally at, he's 40. How old is he? I'm like, how old are you? He's 49. Hello, Kristen. Kristen, I miss you. I got to, that was, well, like, seriously, that's, is that more than a year ago? I can't even remember when I came anymore. Makes me want to cry. Went too fast. No, it was this fall, wasn't it? I feel like it was this fall. Okay, so we are going to finish up. You have to watch me fussy cut three bows. Could I have done one of these for you? Okay, Catherine, what's going to happen when I hit the 50 eyes? What happens next? 
because the 40 eyes, well, I'm 44 now, but they're, the 40 eyes, I'm feeling them. I'm feeling the 40 knees and I'm feeling the 40 back. Those are the things I am currently feeling. Mm -mm. There we go. Okay, we got two. We're two for three. Just a second. We're going to number three. And yours are only readers. Okay, once we get this, you guys, he actually goes together pretty quick. Okay, so you just have to suffer with me through one more. Now, I keep hearing my friends who are in, oh, two. <laughs> Do you want to know what mine were, Catherine? This is going to make you gasp in shock and horror. Is um, I had, I used to wear glasses pre-second child. Pre -second child. Um, I had laser eye surgery. And so I was a minus 6.25. Yeah, they were not pretty. I'm 45 and they gave me cheater teen glasses. Woo woo! Yes. And so I'm like, okay, I made it for, you know, good 15 years there with no glasses. So I'm not going to complain if I have to get the readers. It's okay. Okay. Hang on. We're almost done. I'm chopping off the bits because the bits are getting in my way. This is where I get frustrated and I want it to move faster. Like give me a die cut right now. Quick. Maybe that's why the stamp set got discontinued. I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> of lazy people like me. Huh? Oh, Harley's coming. I can hear him. Dun it, dun it, dun it. Oh, no, it's not. I lied. It wasn't Harley. It's my sweet. This is Rooney. So Rooney is my pointer. He's 12. Nope, I lied. He's 14. My pointer is 14, but he's an angel. He was not an angel though when he was little. Gosh, he was a nightmare. Okay, there we go. We got our bits. <coughs> Let's assemble this bad boy. Okay, so next thing we are going to do is we're going to move this before I drop something in it and it gets wet. I'm going to take a um, little bit of snail and I'm going to slap it on the back of here. Okay. A little bit. Do you like that? Puppy is good. He's, oh, I feel like I need to knock on wood. Puppy's doing really well right now. He's a happy, happy camper and he is growing a ton. I feel like it's because he came off the steroids. And so now he's like, woohoo, let's make up for lost time. So he's a beast, but he is wonderful and he is sassy. It's like having another teenager in the house right now. You should post a picture of your fur babies. My fur, I can't, well, I was like, here, let me show you. They're on my phone. Oh, wait, I'm filming with my phone. That won't work. SMRT. I will post a picture of my fur babies. I've had them on, I think I posted last summer. When, I think when Harley was sick. Okay, so we're going to come in here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to stick this guy down. I'm going to go down a bit. I'm going to go here-ish. Ish. Everything is an ish. What does he weigh now? Um, I think we're 90 now, Sue. I think we're 90 pounds. We are a big boy. And it's not 90 pounds of like puppy pudge. It's 90 pounds of like full blown muscle. I know, seriously, eh, Catherine? Okay, hang on. Ready? So this we're gonna snap. Actually, speaking of teenagers, my husband and my youngest went away. Um, it was here, it was just our Victoria Day long weekend, okay? So Husband had to work until Sunday morning. And so I'm not going away on Sunday when I have to come home on Monday. And my oldest had some school stuff he had to get done. So he stayed with mom. And dad and dad went away. So Sean went away and he took Lucas with him. That's the second um, oldest. Anyway, they went to the lake for a few days. So I'm going to tuck this bow. See, we're dimensionalizing. Yes, dimensionalize your bows. You're for baby. Megan, I think mine uh, leaves messes in the yard bigger than that. Um, anyway, so I was left with my oldest and we, you know, hung out. I, I don't know what it was. I don't know if he felt like he had to, or if he felt bad for mommy and he felt like he had to entertain her because dad was away, but he was so wonderful to me. We had so much fun. We went, he asked me if I wanted to go for a walk. We went for a walk, went out for ice cream. We went out for dinner. We baked cookies together. It was kind of heavenly. I kind of loved it. Okay. So we're going to stick those on. Yes. Now this one, I'm going with a different color ribbon. I have cats that weigh more than that. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So this time I'm going to use the gorgeous grape ribbon. Now my first card, I actually, I used the Bermuda Bay ribbon because I was like, okay, it'll work. It'll be fine. But there's something about it that's bothering me now. So I'm switching it to this. Now what we are going to do is we are going to get my glue dots and we're going to use them for this. Hi, really? How are you? Where's your brother? Did you lose him? Hi, Teddy Madden. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this and I'm gonna get, oh, I always check this because I've done this before. It's flat inside. Uh, I've done that or I've tied the card together. That's super impressive. Just tie the card closed because that doesn't mess with people. Do you notice that glue dot's still on the end of my finger, right? Okay, you ready? Oh, now it's going under my nails. There we go. 
So I'm gonna go like this. So I'm like, okay, I want it there. So I'm gonna slap that glue dot down. I'm gonna peel the backing off of it. Right. We're gonna put this one down. Teddy, I miss you. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Okay, push it here. Boop. Now, I tried something the other day and it worked. So can we, do you care? Can you watch me tie a couple of bows if I screw it up? You don't care, do you? No. We're gonna go like this. And then we are going to go up from the top. I'm going to talk you through. Hello, Jeanette. I'm a summer girl. Okay, ready? We're gonna, oh, look at that. It worked. Woo, woo. Look at my flat bow. Sorry, I get super excited when I tie bows. Tie the card together? Yeah, well, that's entertaining. You only give those cards to your special friends, though. You know the ones that you really want to impress as they sit there trying to open your stupid card? Okay, there we go. Hang on, which way are you turning? There. I want you to be flatter, said no woman ever. Sorry. Wait just a second. I need, I've got to twist. we got to twist it. There, we're twisted. Awesome, bow. I know, we can't wait to see you. Okay, there we go. So we've got our bow. Now we're going to chop the bits because their bits are too dangly. <laughs> Stop pulling my head. Good Lord. Awesome bow tie. Yes, the, the glue dot is wonderful. Okay, hang on. Doop, chop. Okay, now this card would not be complete if it weren't for these. Hello, Francine. I have got my glitter enamel dots. Yes, woo woo. Check it out. Okay, so with my glitter enamel dots, I need my poker. Where's my poker? There it is. I would have to remember to use my ribbon. Okay, but you gotta keep stuff out. So like my ribbon's right on the ledge. Like it's right beside me. It's in my face. More reasons I don't like to tie right to the card. Yeah, because you can tie the card shut like I do. Okay, so this time we are going to go. I'm not using green. We're skipping green. I'm going to go with a purple. You have to say it with an accent because it will help. <laughs> Sorry, super unnecessary. There we go. So we got a purple one there. I'm going to go Melon Mambo. Yes, small one. You love the dots. Thanks, Karma. I just like saying Karma's name. Poor Karma. Karma's like, yeah, I'm just going to grip. I think I'm going to put this one here for a change. We're going to go here. Yep. And just a second. Where am I going next? What am I doing? Oh, here. Uh, big? Yeah, let's go big. Go big or go home, people. And I'm going to come up here. I feel like my purple one needs to come down a bit. It does. Let's check. Oh, can we do it? Can we do it without ripping the card front? Come on. I think I'm a good boy. There we go. Okay, now I'll show you the other card. Ha ha. Okay, put this guy away before I stab myself with it. Now, you know that was, you gotta watch that thing. It's like a weapon in class. Hey ladies, pass it to me and someone throws it. Okay, there you go. So you can see it here. There it is with the Coastal Cabana ribbon, yes. And then there it is with the gorgeous grape ribbon. So it kind of does give it two different looks when you use it that way, yes. Um, just by changing up that color, but they both coordinate. Okay, so peeps, these are super, thank you, Janice, you're so sweet. Um, super important, pay attention here. Stamp set, disappearing, yes, ah! DSP, disappearing, yes, ah! Okay, so don't let those things disappear on you. Um, now, I can tell you, I'm just trying to remember which one. Oh yes, these guys are fine. So these two ribbons are actually carrying over to the new catalog. So yay us, because I don't have to lose those ones and I do love them. And then Picture Perfect Birthday. I feel like, was it in the big catalog or was it, I don't even know. You guys, my brain, honestly, it's like anything new I have to learn right now pushes old stuff out. Picture, picture. Oh, that child is so loud. I am so sorry. I'm gonna sell them. Nobody will pay for them. I'm going to have to pay them to take them away. I always tell my kids, if you ever got taken, just start talking. They'll return you. My children never stop talking. There we go. Okay, so there is beautiful picture perfect birthday. You guys in Canada, this is such a reasonable stamp set and it's so cute. The sentiments rock. I love this bow. The candles are adorable. Uh, it's got the confetti. I love this. It's got the little, what's that thing called? A party blower. And you can use these guys on the end of it. Yes, Whee! you know the noise it makes little kids love. But that one is amazing. Okay, so um, make sure if you are in love with this one, grab it before it's gone. Head to shopwithnorthshorestamper.com. Make sure that you use, I don't even feel like that's my current hostess code. I feel like it just closed that one. I don't even know. I don't know my name anymore. That might have actually be gone, but I will check that and I will post it for you right after. I feel like I had to close that one last night. Anyway, my dears, have an amazing evening and thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see y'all later. Bye.